हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दीपानिता क्रिएटिविटी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ऑल अबाउट एक्जोरा प्लांट देयर आर फोर कलर्स एक्जोरा इन माय गार्डन पिंक रेड येलो एंड व्हाइट माय रेड एक्जोरा विद फुल ब्लूम Ixora plant is a rounded evergreen shrub that reaches heights of 4 to 6 feet or more. It has shiny leathery leaves and masses of bloom that appear throughout most of the year. It is suitable for the planting in warm climate. Large cluster of flowers emerge like pop balls from the evergreen leaves. Do not overpot. A small plant is kept for 2 to 3 years in a 5 to 6 inches pot. After that, it can be transferred to a 8 inch pot. Ixora grow well in well-drained acidic soil. When planting, we should use one third part organic matter such as compost. Water daily to keep the soil evenly moist. In summer we should water two times every day. Full sunlight is necessary for March blooming. So we should keep the pot where 5 to 6 hours sunlight can reach. This is my yellow exora plant. Its leaves turn yellow and it is not blooming for many days. This disease is called chlorosis. When soil is alkaline iron and manganese deficiency occurs leaf yellowing will be the first sign that the soil is alkaline following by lessening bud or no buds at all for this we can apply magnesium sulfate solution in soil and foliar spray every 7 alternate day we should use tea leaf fertilizer every alternate 7 day for maintaining soil ph If we want more bloom from this plant we can use potassium rich fertilizer I use organic fertilizer like banana peel liquid fertilizer I bought this plant 2 months back there are two spent flower bunches and the plant was very weak I apply banana peel liquid fertilizer and kitchen waste liquid fertilizer every alternate 7 days. I have got many bunches of flower buds and my plant looks healthy. This is my white ixora plant. It is winter now. But my white ixora is in full bloom. If winter temperature drops, ixora may lose some leaves and branches. Winter is the dormant period. Leaves are yellowing and no new growth will start. In this time we should not use any type of compost and fertilizer. We should check the soil and if necessary add only water. In spring when new growth starts we should use NPK rich fertilizer. I use homemade kitchen waste liquid fertilizer. and mustard seed liquid fertilizer every alternate 7 day this is my red exora plant When flowers are off we should prune dead flower heads it motivates more bunches and more blooming
before pruning we should clean and sanitize our cutter We should cut below one to two nodes of the dead flower head An annual pruning is usually best to keep our isora flowering Any major pruning to shape plant should be done in the early spring as plant begin to send out new growth This is my pink ixora plant. Ixora does not suffer much damage from insect and diseases. It can be attacked by aphids or scales. Wash off the tiny green aphids or brown scales with a strong spray from your garden hose. Ixora plant easily propagates by seeds and cuttings. This is my red ixora cutting. This is my yellow ixora cutting. This is my another yellow ixora plant which I made by cuttings. Buds are formed. Roots are visible. We take a 3 to 6 inches cutting and place it into the soil. Water regularly to keep the soil moist. After one month, a new growth started. We can propagate by cutting throughout the year except winter. Rainy season is the best for propagation.